Hi Aries, I'm Brenda and I'm here today to bring you your Angel Tarot messages for the month of May 2018. I want to thank you for your interest in my channel and for viewing, liking and sharing these videos on YouTube. As you know, this is strictly a general reading and every single card cannot apply to every single person in the universe. But if you'd like clarity, accuracy, and answers to any questions, I invite and welcome you to go up there and push that button. And it will take you to my website where you can see the services that I offer and how to schedule either a private reading with me or a Reiki session with me. Let's get on with it, Aries. So we are incorporating week one, two, three, and four of the month of May. So, for the first week of May, Aries, you have been given an Earth card, and you have been given the Three of Earth. And this shows me that you're working very hard either on a project or uh, you're involved at work with something that's going on and that you're going to be getting credit for that. You're going to be getting recognized for that. I see that some of you, it will come in the form of a slight promotion at your place of employment. I see for others, you will be getting an increase in income and or both of those things could happen for some of you. I do see that you're being appreciated because you've been approached to do something and you've gone along with it. You've been a great team player. You, you haven't put up any uh, resistance. Um, you uh, have been very um, amicable and adaptable with this situation. So you're going to see this come uh, into fruition and in a positive direction on your path. This is a card, the earth cards often have to do with our jobs, professions and careers and how we bring in that currency into our lives. I do see that it can also have to do, I see some of you are dealing with people in your family. There is a situation going on in your personal uh, family and again you're going to be uh, asked to step up uh, to be an advocate or to um, you know step up and speak your truth and you're going to get recognized for that as well and be appreciated for it. In the middle of the first week of May, Aries, you've been given an air card. And this is the Three of Air. And this shows me that some of you may have been dealing with challenging situations uh, as of late. And uh, the people that brought that drama and, and karma into uh, your beautiful positive space, you've had to, you know, listen to their side of the story. You've had to, you know, summarize this, their, their, their side of the story. And you've had options. <clears throat> to look at as well with dealing with these people. This also uh, has to do with legal issues. So I see some of you are dealing with lawyers and attorneys and I see paperwork that's got to be signed. Um, I see mediation coming into play where you're going to have to um, listen to both sides of the story again and um, you know look at all the whole picture. So some of you have already done that and you're dealing with it and some of you are dealing with it right now and I do see it's making you feel very sad to the point where um, you know you're, you're feeling backed into the wall and you've dealt some of you have dealt with it so it's past it's just past and it still left you feeling this way so what this card signifies is that you need to take time to heal and we all heal at our own speed and how we choose to heal also, I do see that forgiveness is coming into play and it often in order for us to heal when we've been deeply hurt and wounded, we have to sit back and forgive and not because we agree with the behavior that was inflicted on us, but because we need to clear it out of our system. We need to get rid of it. We need to make ourselves open again to learn that we can, uh, you know, learn from our mistake, perhaps. Uh, for enabling it and allowing this situation in. Now, this isn't for everyone. There are people that have actually been victimized. And I do see that, you know, this great hurt uh, and asking yourself, why did this happen to me, isn't going to go any farther now. So you need to forgive. And, and sometimes it is forgiving ourselves, but others it's forgiving whoever inflicted that hurt on us. So please know you need to take time to heal. But the big word that's put out in front of me is forgiveness. 
eight of water for the end of the first week, Aries. <clears throat> and this shows me that, you know, this is ironic that this card came out because it's showing me that some of you have been dealing with a challenging situation and the people or person that was involved in this with you. Some of you, it was a relationship. Um, some of you, it was long-standing, and others, it may have been a very close family or friend relationship. But I do see there's a desire to move on. And you're realizing now that you're not able to grow with this, with this, in this situation uh, that you're involved in, in this relationship. And in order to grow, you either have to make a decision to try to heal and make that uh, relationship or situation better. And it looks like you've pretty much done all those things I see for some of you. And it's time to move on. You're looking for something more meaningful in your life. And you know that it's out there. So in order to do that, you've got to close that door behind you and walk through that door in front of you to allow that new opportunity to come into play. Um, for some of you, I see you've tapped into your spiritualism and your, your, your faith, your, your, your belief system. And it's, it's helped to strengthen you internally. And it's allowing you now to look at that whole picture and see that it is a good move. Move on, move forward. You're worthy of something more meaningful in your life. It's going to be positive growth. The second week of Aries, you've been given, at the beginning of the second week, you've been given a fire card, the nine of fire. And fire cards have to do with our personal self-development. And sometimes that means taking risks, going places we normally wouldn't go in order for us to grow in a positive way. I see that, you know, you've been dealing with these issues at the beginning of May or even prior to it at the end of April that have been very, very challenging for some of you at, to the point where you kind of wanted to throw your hands over your head and say, I'm done, I give up, I, you know, I can't do this. But don't surrender, okay? Don't give up. Stand your ground. Get up on your platform and realize that you have that inner strength to dig on into. We talked about that faith and belief uh, system that you've tapped into, that spiritualism part of you. And you need to protect this because it's what you and you only created. So please know you need to have courage at this time and believe in yourself because, you know, I, I tell people, you watch what you throw out into the universe because it'll come back and smack you in the face. And if it's negative, you're going to get negative energy. So please keep on your path of positivity because the universe and, and divine and angels are telling you with this card that you don't need to give up, okay? Protect what you created. You earned it. You worked for it. It belongs to you and you own it alone. In the middle of the second week, Aries, you've been given the card I don't like the most in the deck. And this is ego. And in the regular tarot deck, this would be known as the devil card. This is a card where we get tempted to do things we shouldn't do when we get down and out. Okay, so this is telling me that, you know, it's showing me, Aries, I'm sorry, <laughs> all these challenges that have been out here for you. And, and, and I see all these legal issues you've been dealing with. Um, and you know what? Don't give up. Don't go home. Don't sit down and open that bottle of whiskey and decide I'm going to drown my sorrows. This is what this card means. This is a false sense of insecurity. This is uh, thinking only negative-based thoughts and losing ourselves on that negative path when we're faced with some of the most challenging situations in our lives. So it's important. It's, it's very hard, I realize, when you are dealing with these situations, Aries, but you have to dig deep, my friend. Go back to your... Go back to your roots. Go back to balancing yourself and grounding yourself again and saying, you know what? I can do this. I'm going to get through this. I, this, this isn't, you know, this isn't who I am. And don't, um, you know, don't allow those fear-based thoughts to come into play. Often people turn to addictions or addictive behavior. Uh, they go on a spending spree. They become gamblers and drinkers and they, they, they have affairs and whatever. And that's how the ego and the devil tempt us, tempts us. So don't allow that to come into play. Hold your head up. Take that deep breath. Instead, go and meditate. Instead, go go to a spa or, or, you know, go for a long walk in nature or go to the gym and get on that, you know, that bicycle and pedal your butt around as long as you can. And while you're doing that, clear your mind. Just think of those the, the rhythm that you're moving on that bike, often that's a distraction and it helps you when you're dealing with issues. Everybody deals with stress in their own way. 
the beginning of, or rather the end of the second week, that was the middle of the second week of May, Aries, you've been given the night of air. Again, um, I have to tell you, Aries, one, two, three, four, you have four air, air sign cards here that deal with the drama and the karma that people bring in where we have to make fair and just decisions, where we're being put up on the platform and being judged. Uh, and, and very often legal issues pertain to that. This is telling me that um, there is an event, uh, something's coming into play, something's going to be brought up that's going to all of a sudden wham be there. And you're going to have to deal with it because it comes in with great speed like this night who, who rides in on his horse at great speed. So when it when you have been given this, and they're showing me documentation for some of you in the form of, you know, a written, uh, written work, uh, whether it be on your computer, whether it be uh, in paper form, um, I do see heads coming together with others to help you make this uh, event uh, turn out in your best best, uh, you know, for the best for you. You need to review all your options. It's as though you're going to be given, how can I put this? It's as though you're going to be given options. No, there it is plain. And you can either do this or you can do that. And it's up to you in a collaborative effort with those around you that are supporting you and helping you here right now to make sure you make the right decision. But you can't wait around and think about it. It has to be acted upon now. But I do see with this collaborative effort with you and others, you're, you can be creative together and make it work out for the best. Another air card for the beginning of the third week, Aries. It said you had four in this reading. So again, you know what this card pertains to. And it's telling me that things are looking up now. So you've done this. Obviously, uh, you know, uh, the second week here, going into the month, heads are together, everybody's working together, you've had your options put out on the table, and you're dealing with it for the best, uh, you're, with your best intentions. Um, and integrity. And it's showing me that things are, are, are going to work out. And as we get closer to the end of April, I do see that this will be the end of this difficult and challenging situation that you've been faced with, Aries. I do see that you, uh, at, the, at the end of this, <coughs> this um, challenging situation in your life and stressful situation in your life, you're, you're going to want to take a holiday. You're, wanna go, you're going to want to go away and just put your feet up and take a deep breath and just allow all uh, all this stress to you know to leave you and disappear again another air card okay and this is the eight of air for the middle of the third week so it shows me that you know this situation that you've been dealing with in your life has really done a number on you stressful wise and and your emotions and your positive uh, demeanor and personality and, def and the faith you have in yourself and that's called confidence and it shows me that some of you really have felt depleted and now it's time to uh, you know to take action uh, you know and and stand up for yourself and defend yourself and um, and look back now and say you know what I this is who I am um, I'm a person of you know good intentions and integrity and no matter what you're being, uh, you know, being called up on your platform and being judged for, keep those thoughts in mind. You're not trapped. It's an illusion that you're feeling right now. At the end of the third week, you've been given the four of fire, Aries. And fire cards, this is the second one in your month. And again, it's self-development. Again, it's taking risks. Again, it's going places you normally wouldn't go, which on your path leads you to, uh, to, to you know, the best intentions and your greater good. And now things are starting to settle down. It's showing me that uh, you can take a deep breath. You're feeling more peaceful. Uh, we're getting on to the end of this month and these challenging challenges you've horrendous challenges they show me some of you have been dealing with are going to come to an end and you're going to you're going to feel more contented more peaceful and you're going to see this all over feeling of wellness and love come back into your life in the form of abundance um, i do see that you're going to be happy again in your personal life i do see that um if there's this project that this this challenging project with all these air cards you've been working on uh, it will be the completion of that, and they refer to that as a successful completion of this. They refer to it a project or this situation you've had to deal with. 
your last week in May, my friend. And this is the King of Earth, Aries. So this is the beginning of that week. And this is telling me that things are looking up. Oh my God, this is the King of Earth, Aries. This is the Midas Touch card. You, you're going to land on your feet. Uh, things are going to work out again. Uh, and you're going to walk out of there and be able to wipe your the slate clean and your hands clean. I do see that, you know, you need to accept any opportunities coming your way. For a lot of you, it will be um, uh, career opportunities I see coming in. Um, I do see uh, that a lot of you will be actually um, <clears throat> looking for a job or applying for a job or now you have the time to sit back and say, well, what is it I really want to do? Where would I feel the best? Uh, do I want to work for someone else? Do I want to be self-employed on my own? Do I want to incorporate a bit of both of that with my career? So I do see that you need to accept the opportunities coming down the path for you. Uh, that refers to all opportunities, even opportunities being offered to you in your personal intimate life. Please know that this is a fabulous card. You've been dealing with so, so much, my friend, uh, and Aries, in this month of May. And know now that at the end of that month, things are going to improve. Okay? It was like April. Uh, you know, April, we're still in April. I'm doing these now for May. And April has led you to where you are now here in this beginning of and end of May. So as May continues, you're still dealing with those issues. But as May starts to come to close, as April does, things are going to improve. So please know this, this reading is essentially for May. So this may be an overlap into what went on in May. So please know that at the, at the end of May, that first part of May, things are improving. I mean, here's the middle of May, or the last week of May. So here's the middle of that week at the end of May. So all of April has led up to this. And this is the sun. And I mean, this is an amazing card. This is, this is happy times. This is brilliant new ideas that are going to lead to success again in your life. And you having confidence in yourself, realizing that you are this big bright ball and this beacon of light and that you're capable now of shining again. The very end of May now, my friend, this is the ace of water. And aces are the beginnings of all things in all suits. But this shows me it may be for some of you uh, the beginning of uh, a love relationship. Perhaps some of you are meeting someone new. Perhaps some of you are um, have been in a love relationship and it kind of got put on the back shelf uh, or it, it had its moments that were a little bit bumpy. But know now that that's going to be a big resurgence of that love relationship in your life. Um, I do see some of you will be moving. You're going to be moving to a new home. You're going to be leaving the home you're in and you will be moving away and moving into a new residence to you. I wish you a great remainder to this day, and I wish you a wonderful, optimistic month in May. Yes, there's challenges there that have overlapped from April into May. I referred to April a lot because that is what led up to the energy and the events occurring in the month of May, Aries. The beginning, you know, was challenging in the first two weeks, and then as the third and the fourth week came into play, things improved. So please go into May with an optimistic mind, okay, and believe and have the faith and manifest that outcome. I'll see you again next month, my friend Aries, and know that I continue to stand in that circle of light for you, my friend.